Hello everyone, my name is Crow and welcome back to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, we'll be making a fully AFK drowned slash trident slash zombie farm in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So how exactly do you make a drowned farm? Well, whenever you are exploring in the caves and you find a zombie spawner, you can actually use that to make a drowned farm. And how exactly do you do that? So once we have our zombies coming in, they can actually be converted into a drowned if they are submerged in water for a while, which is exactly this part that we have right here, which I did borrow from Silent Whisperer's drowned farm. And drowned can drop rotten flesh, gold, knowledge shells, and tridents. Also, when a zombie converts to a drowned, they drop their armor and tools that they are holding. Then you can smelt that armor and tools or iron and gold depending on whatever it is. So it is a good way to get a little bit of iron and some gold if you're AFKing overnight and also you can get a bunch of experience. I also want to explain the spawning room that you guys see right now on screen. While on YouTube, I was recommended this video by Groove Guy. I'll put a picture on screen for you guys. He found the bounding boxes of spawners in Minecraft Bedrock Edition are actually different from that in Java Edition where people typically use the 9x9 room to capture the entire space of the spawner. So this just means that in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, it is a little bit smaller, therefore it's more compact and you have to do less digging when it comes to making these type of farms. Now let's get on with the tutorial. Actually, before we even start the tutorial, I'm going to do a 30 minute AFK session and I'm going to show you guys how much experience I got and how much loot I got. So let's do that real quick in the next shot. And just like that, 30 minutes have passed already and I'm going to shut off my phone around. And as you can tell, well, we pretty much got 24 XP levels and slightly there's still some zombies over there, but we're quickly just going to switch it off to peaceful mode so nothing else comes out, turn off the trident killer. And we're going to come down over here and see how much stuff we actually got. So for rotten flesh, we got, okay, one, two, three, four, five, five and a half stacks of rotten flesh. Not bad. 17 pieces of gold. 12 knowledge shells and now let's see how much of this was actually filled with all this other loot that we get oh wow <laughs> look at that that is a lot of gold armor and let alone a lot of trends just like so and some chainmail. but yeah this is what i was talking about you get a bunch of these stuff you know put them over here smelt them get even a little bit extra gold you can possibly even get a little bit of iron as well since we got these iron swords iron shovels oh look at this one it even has so touch one you could definitely keep that and like upgrade it if you really wanted to early in game if you don't get that oh even a fire aspect sword that'd be really good look another so touch one efficiency that's really weird it got the exact same one and then anything else this one just has silk touch yeah that's that's pretty good in my opinion for 30 minutes I highly, highly suggest you guys make this one. And to make this farm work a little bit even more faster, all you gotta do is hit that like button for that YouTube algorithm boost. It would definitely mean a lot to me, you guys. But yeah, let's get on with the tutorial now. All right, so let's just say that you have found a spawner somewhere out in a cave. I'm also just gonna place it down since I'm in creative mode, but I'm just gonna go ahead and light it up so nothing spawns. But you essentially want to go four blocks in every direction and on that fifth block you want to mark that as your wall so one two three four and then five would be the wall you want to do that on each side one two three four five so let's go ahead and do that and once you've done that you want to go ahead and remove some of the blocks underneath but then you're just going to make your walls in a diagonal line until they reach all four cardinal directions that you just did, just like so. Like I said, this is all explained in Groove Guy's video about how mob spawners work in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So if you guys don't believe me, go ahead and go check out his video. It's really interesting. I didn't know, I totally assumed that was exactly the same thing as it was in Java Edition since I used to play Java Edition a lot, but then I made the switch to Bedrock Edition. So there you go. You have it just surrounded like so. This is exactly where your mobs are gonna spawn. They won't spawn anywhere outside of this. And obviously you do not have to make this out of iron blocks. I'm just using it as my choice of blocks. It's my favorite and it's very easy to count. So let's say this was right here, the, the floor level. You want to go ahead and go down by seven blocks. So this would be one, two, three, four, 
five, six, and seven. And then you want to go ahead and remove everything that you see right here until that block right there. So go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. So great, now you've dug down seven blocks from the spawner, but you also want to have two blocks on top of the spawner of free of space, just in case any mobs spawn up above. Now the next step is to decide which side you want this to go through. It doesn't really matter. You can choose whichever one you want. I'm just going to choose this side because, you know, why not? But you want to go ahead and remove this block right here. Go down by one and then go by four. So go down by one, right? Go down by one and then one, two, three, four. Go ahead and remove this block right here as well. Then go forward two more blocks, but then go down by two. And then on here, you want to go down by two. Place down a bucket of lava right there. A sign right there and then go up by one and place down a piece of soul sand right here. Now, after you've placed down your soul sand, you want to go up by 13 blocks. So for, let's say that this was still filled in. This would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And then we're going to turn to the left and go by three blocks, just like so. Now, before we continue working on the farm on the drop shoot, you want to go ahead and come back over here where your soul sand is and you can do this on either side but i'm just going to do it on the right side you guys might as well do it on the same side as well but right over here from the sign you want to go up one block and place down one two three four five signs and then place down an upside down stair just like so and then from this fifth sign all the way across you want to go ahead and break that block just like so that's going to come handy in a little bit and i'll explain why later now you want to go ahead and work on the water portion of this farm. So you want to look at the direction that is completely opposite from where your zombies are traveling. So right over here. You want to go ahead and come to each one of these corners and remove these three blocks on each side. Just like so. I'm going to zoom up a little bit and you can see that they're missing right here. Then you're going to want to go ahead and place down a water source right here, right here, right here. And right one right there one right there not in this corner because this is where you will be able to see that all the water goes into this direction right here so if i was a zombie you'd see i just easily go into our little water stream now why exactly do we have this lava underneath well from my testing sometimes when a, a zombie or or should i say a baby zombie spawns they would actually get stuck underneath and if you didn't have the lava they would eventually build up and you know they're not gonna die and if a lot build up you can cost you lag so if you place down a bucket of lava underneath they'll fall in right through this fence hole right here and they'll die so it's just a little precaution area for your farm and actually for the next bit you can actually close that hole that we did after the fifth sign for just the moment but you want to come all the way up over here Break a block on the fourth block from this section and place down a sign right there. Place down your water bucket right here. It's going to flow that way and then be stopped by the sign. And it's also going to create an infinite uh, bubble column upwards for our zombies. Now for the next step, you want to go ahead and block this off for a moment so it's not annoying. But you want to go ahead and go down by 10 blocks from right here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and then mark that 11th block just like so so this is where your zombies are going to be standing so you want to then come back all the way up and you're going to skip a block right here then place down an oak sign or whatever sign you want to use then put a water bucket right there skip it well you're actually not going to skip you're going to put a cobweb right there and then another sign just like so and you're actually going to water log the cobweb i don't know why bedrock just lets us do these things but this is exactly the mechanism that we're going to be using to drown our zombies. This is enough time for a zombie to be converted into a drowned. If you just wanted to use this for a zombie farm, you definitely do not need to do any of these parts besides this sign right here. So it stops the water. And later when you want to remove this, if you remove this, it's going to look like this. So just go ahead and place down a block right here. Let the water flow and then break this again. And your bubble columns are still going to be there. So just a little little thing that happens in bedrock 
Now it is time to do the trident killer. Now to do the trident killer, you want to go ahead and look at this direction, just like here, like you see on screen, you're going to come all the way down and this should be your 11th block that we did earlier. And you want to go ahead and make these into a two by two. And then you're going to see that this over here is the wall where they're being elevated up from. So next you want to go ahead and punch out these blocks right here. And then these as well. You make it in this nice little shape. You're going to go ahead and place down a dropper and an observer, another dropper, another observer, not like that, just like this, another dropper, another observer, another dropper, another observer, then go ahead and place down a piston right here, right here, right here, then right here. And you just start making this, but it's going to get quite annoying, obviously. So you want to go ahead and grab your lever just like so and place it down right here and it should stop just like that. Awesome. You want to go ahead and make yourself a little room real quick. Now for the item sorting, you want to go ahead and know where this bottom right block is from your front of your trident killer. So right here, make sure you know where that one is and come right underneath it actually. So it would be this one right here, obviously because that's where they drop from. I'm going to come down by two blocks, break that one right there, surround this with other blocks so your minecart with hopper does not escape. You actually want to change this one to be a hopper. Place down a rail just like that with a minecart hopper right there. Go ahead and break the rail just like so. And then you want to quickly go ahead and maybe change this to glass so you know whether or not it's still there if anything were to happen. Then from here you want to go ahead and build off a couple of hoppers just like so. and. You basically only really need three item sorters for the rod and flash, the gold, and the knowledge shells. Because everything else cannot be actually filtered out. So from right here, you can actually come back and put down some temporary blocks just like so. And put hoppers facing towards you. So then quickly from your hoppers, go ahead and make this diagonal line just like here. Go ahead and place down your competitors right here place down some more solid blocks just like so then you want to go ahead and grab your repeaters place them just right here then put more blocks on top come around here real quick and place down some redstone torches just like that come back a few more blocks actually place down some redstone right there or oh, iron blocks i mean and place down your redstone dust right here. And then you want to go ahead and fill these item hoppers with your filters. Now you want to make sure that each one is for a specific item. So this one right here, I'm just going to make it be rotten and flesh. And then you're going to want to put four other items that are never going to be going into your filters. For example, this diamond that is renamed subscribe will never be in this system again. So you're just going to do that uh, again for all the other ones, just like so. And like I said previously, you cannot filter out tridents, armor, tools, anything like that. So then you want to go ahead and grab some more hoppers and chest. And you're going to call ahead and come down right here. Place down some more chests. Remove this one since it was just temporary. And put them in like so. And then over here, you can actually just leave this into more storage for your extra items that come in like the tridents because you're going to be getting a lot so you're going to need a lot and a lot of storage for this so just be wary of that for depending how long you want to do this and you can also expand this as many times down that you want just like so bam 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 and you can even make two item sorters be rotten flesh honestly if you really wanted to so you can you could remove all of this and make two of these be for rotten flesh it's only totally up to you i highly suggest you do two rotten flesh because you will be getting a lot of rotten flesh but that is essentially it so here's a little quick test if we were putting this minecart with hopper in here that will never go into any of these hoppers it's actually going to come down to this one right here bam right there so that's how it's going to work for anything else. And before I forget, for your actual training killer to work, you want to make sure that you have 
at least one trident put it in here and just leave it right there and whenever a mob comes in they will be killed and then before i forget to mention make sure that you remove any lighting that you have inside this obviously i have night vision so everything's lit up but then you want to go ahead and come back over here to wherever your fifth sign was i actually made a mistake here but from your fifth sign you want to go ahead and make a hole right there and that is going to help your mobs get pushed up as you can tell right there because they can either get stuck underneath this stair but with the water flowing in that direction it's actually going to move them as you can tell i'm kind of fighting it it moves you a little bit towards the left as you saw and it, that's what's going to be helping your zombies go into your killing chamber and now we're just going to do a quick little example i've always been in peaceful mode while i was doing this so none of them spawn and they annoy me but i'm going to, we're going to go ahead and switch back over to hard mode and as you can tell they're already spawning and they're going right into the filter room and as you can tell our killing chamber is right there and ice will not make them go faster not one bit as you can tell the water portion right there that we did is helping them move all along over here they move up and then they're gonna come right here and they're gonna be stuck with that cobweb and after 45 seconds they should change into drown i'm gonna be right here waiting for them And just like that, you guys, we finally got some drown in here. And then we're just going to go ahead and flick the lever for them to die, just like so. And then anything should be picked up by this and it should end up in our system now. So that's pretty good. And then one thing I highly suggest you do, since uh, the farm is right over here with the spawner, you want to go ahead and maybe do this just in case. Go ahead and grab yourselves a half slab and put it down right here and so while you are afking and they're being killed the xp will actually flow right there and you can grab it and yeah you can just sit here all night long or however long you want to be here and get all the drops that you want all right you guys that's going to be it for me today and, and for this tutorial for getting all these trinets that you possibly want don't forget that you can actually hold a looting three sword while you're doing this and get even more loot it's definitely going to increase your chances of getting gold knowledge shells and even tridents but yeah oh, i totally forgot to put the tridents back in there oops but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace